All right, so now you have the uh, basic uh, um, form of the song, or at least the, uh, um, uh, uh, the basic chord progression of the song together, and you have the, uh, the chorus section as well. Let's talk about some improvisation. A little bit later, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. But for right now, let's uh, just get into some improvisation exercises. Now, one scale that's used often in rock music is the pentatonic scale. Now, we're in the key of G, all right, but we kind of move to the key of C. It's kind of a little bit ambiguous all right, at times exactly which key you're in because the chords can function in more than one key. All right, so we could try using the G major pentatonic scale, but it's probably not going to sound all that good over all of the chords. The one that does sound good overall is the A minor pentatonic scale. And this is your A minor pentatonic scale. You'll notice that your A minor, pent a minor pentatonic is the same thing as what? C major pentatonic. And you'll also notice that the uh, pentatonic scale is broken up into two groupings of three notes. And you're going to see how we can utilize that a little bit later. Right? So the first thing I want you to try doing is just playing the scale up So there's one, two, three, and then cross under, one, two, three. Now, oftentimes I get asked, well, what do I do in my left hand? What is a left hand accompaniment technique? And now, for rock music, for this you could do the root, fifth, and the tenth, but let's face it, not everybody can reach that far on the piano. So if you can't reach that far, let me just go through, I'll play what all of them are, just in case you can reach that far. It's your root, fifth, and tenth. If you can't reach that far, you could just do the root and then the fifth and the root again. So this would be A minor and then E minor, D major. And you see how I'm pumping this second beat here? I'm holding down that root and I just hit the top notes of the chord again. Just to kind of give it a little bit of motion in that left hand. Then G, D, C. Now check this out along with that line in the right hand. I'm going to start a little bit off the beat, so... And here I just ended on a C, just to like make it go, uh, you know, along with that C chord a little bit better. I could have just stayed on the A if I wanted to. So what I want you to do is get very comfortable with that. I'm going to put the drums on here. You can try closing your eyes. You know, just start to feel where it is. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm starting to expand a little bit. I'm starting to move outside. Still that same 16th note pattern. That's real key to, uh, to clue into here. So. so all notes from that from that A minor pentatonic. Try going down. Sorry. So you try messing around and, and you know trying um, you know different combinations and you know not not just going in the same order. Right? You can try messing around with that. Uh, but if you're getting confused with that, start with that simple one. 
right? And then at the very end, add a little something if you want. So. See how it went up to the C? You also try. Just stay in one block. It's just going up. So start with that simple pentatonic scale exercise first. Remember, once again, it's Start with that first, and then we'll move on and, uh, you know, add to that. So, see you in the next chapter.